morning to all, uh, all of you. Um, thank you, uh, Henry. Um, first of all, I'm grateful to the FA for this uh, new initiative uh, led by Henry Asante. Um, it's the first of its kind, its kind, and uh, for me to be able to uh, meet the media in that sense. So I'm, I'm grateful. Yes, uh, we went to uh, Afcon. Uh, sorry, Af the Afcon balloting, which went well. Um, like I said earlier, when I went there without any expectation of which group will favor us and all that, uh, we went there. We we saw the group uh, Morocco, Comoros, Gabon, and of course uh, Ghana, which uh, uh, we we see it as as a very good uh, group, a group that. If we do very well, we plan very well and strategize, we'll be able to go through. Um, after the draw, we went back to our hotel and the next day we went to check the facilities. Uh, our hotels where we'll be lodging and of course our training grounds and, and, the, state, and the stadium, which was, was good. Uh, I think everything was, was, was okay to, in, in that sense. Uh, it's good, we, we, we just have to come back and, and really prepare. And so uh, we, we, we've been there. I'm back um, here to, to, to prepare and, and hopefully uh, when the day comes, we'll, we'll be ready to, to deliver. CK. Yeah. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, I, I wanted us to, I wanted you to at least um, give, a, give us an idea of the sort of facilities you think would aid your preparation during the competition. How, I mean, when you went around, um, did you see you know, good facilities that will, um, especially the hotels, the training pitches and all that, you think they were yeah, satisfactory yeah, I mean, enough? I mean, the standard is, is good. Uh, obviously, uh, Cameroon is a football nation. You know what it takes to to do, to host uh, such a huge tournament. And, and I think they, they, are, they are well prepared. Don't forget, they were also, who were supposed to do this last year. And it didn't. So it gave them you know, a better time to, to prepare. And so... Um, the idea of hotels, uh, most important things are the, the fields where we will train and the football matches, which, which, which is good, is to the level that one can, one can expect. I don't expect it within the next six months for it to go, go bad. And so they will maintain the level and maybe improve it. Um, when we talk of the hotels, um, we all have our opinion of how hotels should, should look like. And, 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 and that is what the Kafa, Kafa has given us, and I think it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it the way it is. And, and, and of course, I went there with Enra, Enra, uh, uh, Alex Asanti, who was very, very good in his work in terms of what we want, what we want to happen, what we want uh, to change, which is discussing with the, with the authorities there and uh, they perceived that in good faith. We believe that when, when we come there in, in, in the next six months time, things will be the way we, we want it to be. And so um, I have no doubt that things will be, will, be, will, be, will be appropriately done when we get there. Okay, thank you, colleagues. Oh, so um, that is um, something of, of what transpired in Cameroon. We've, we've heard from the coach. Um, it's time to listen to you as well. Um, you just give us um, you, you raise your hand. I'm sure we'll see it. All of you are registered. I will call your name and then you can ask your, your question. But currently all of you are muted. So before you come on to ask your question, you are mute. You ask your question and then you mute again so that the coach can respond. Thank you. Christian Mensa, please, um, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please um, go ahead and ask your question. Yes, Henry, I can hear you. Uh, I want to say good morning to you. Thank you for this brilliant initiative, Henry Asante. You did a very great job. And to our darling coach, uh, CK Akono, God bless you for the good job you are doing for the national team. Now, my question I want to ask is, looking at the group that the Black Stars find themselves in, uh, I believe uh, Comoros will be a national team that you may not be familiar with. Uh, what has been your strategy in assessing the Comoros uh, team as in for your preparation towards this uh, crucial group, which look very tricky, as most of uh, the pundits and football people are saying. Have you had time to take a look at some of their footages? And also my second question would be, what system and what style of play are we to expect from you as a head coach? Because if I could remember, 
when you were being appointed, uh, you made us understand that there is something called a global that will be uh, instituted into the Black Star. So I want to find out, going into this year, AFCON, what will be your game plan, strategies, and tactics that we should be expecting from you? Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Uh, yes, Comoros, Gabon, um, we've started working on them. We have a scouting team that uh, are on, 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 on serious work. Uh, which will take place very, very soon. Uh, don't forget we have a World Cup qualifier coming on. And so we are combining both the World Cup qualifier and at the same time uh, the AFCON. Um, as to what system we will play, uh, it will, it will, time will tell. You know, we, we're doing so well in that sense to improve our, our area of work. Uh, the other day when we played, we realized that, and everybody was saying that we are not scoring, but it's, it's got nothing to do with the strikers. And so there are certain things that we put in place and very soon uh, it, will, it, will, it will be showing. Don't forget this takes time, you know. Uh, agro football does not mean that we, we will just throw all our, our towels out and, and, and play. You know, we, this is a national team and it's important that uh, we are very solid uh, defensively and, offer, and for us to be able to attack very well. Because if you attack and you open your back, there will always, always be a problem. So, we, we, we've moved on from one end to another, and we believe that very soon uh, our style of play, identity, and everything will show before, before the Afghan. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, Muftar Nabila, I can see your hand up. Okay, um, thank you very much, Henry. Um, <laughs> Coach, <laughs> Coach, why are you laughing? <laughs> A quick question is, um, what sort of group have we found ourselves in ahead of this AFCON competition? And um, just to add, what sort of players do you think we require to make us a successful nation if we are really to end that nearly 40 years of failure to win the African Cup of Nations? Because many have said that the generation where this national team um, should have win the Afghan is, is over, but like as Amaja mentioned, we have a really, really young team. So what would take us to be able to win the Afghan if that is to happen in Cameroon? Well, I think what would take us to win is a, a bit of brilliance from all of us, good team spirit. Um, and this I call for all of you, including you. I mean, we all have to now change from where we are to a, a, a bit of positivity, you know, the, the fact that I know some people doubt if we'll be able to make it or not. It's not about that again. Now, we've all been yearning for this, this opportunity to, to go and win the AFCON. We want to do it. We've all been talking about, but we are being negative. And so we, we need to change that aspect of, of our thoughts and thinking. Of course, we don't have any other uh, group of players. The ones we have are the ones we're using now. If, if you remember the last few matches, we've, we've really maintained a certain crop of players. And that if there's any other player that is good, doing well, we'll bring him in. And that is what we're doing. And we believe that gradually uh, we'll we, we be able to find ourselves you know, in a certain way. We understand what we have to do at every given time. Uh, ethics of work on the field of play, we do, we do understand that. And I think we've moved on from a certain uh, uh, position to, to a very positive. I believe that now the team is positive. The team uh, has found itself. Uh, we have structures which will try in this strategy to improve in that area. Uh, and and, and I, I strongly believe in, in the squad, you know, and I, I hope all of you will also do that. Uh, like I said earlier on, yes, I, I understand because in the last few years we've, we've tried and tried to come closer and, and it's, not, it's not worked. And so we, 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 we sort of been a bit negative when it comes to the, to the national team. And that what my message to all of you, to be positive, think positive. Let's, let's, we've been dreaming about it. We want it and we'll find a way to, to get it. it. At the moment, it doesn't, it doesn't look you know, to all of you, but to me, I believe, I believe in the squad. I believe that this, this will happen. And, and I want to involve all of you. All of you, you know, when I say this, this is not just us, because when we win, it's Ghana that has won, okay? 
it's Ghana. It's, it's all about Ghana. It's not about any individual. This includes also the playing body, you know, which I have made it clear to all of them. You know, we've, we've talked about tactical play and all those things. It is not, not much about it. We need to do this together. The playing body, there's not going to be anybody who uh, is an individual. If we do an individual job, we'll not be able to, to achieve that. We have to do this together. We need all of you to be on board. Each and every one of you is, is for us. This is Ghana. And so I am, in that sense, I'm very, very positive that uh, once we work very, very hard, and I must be honest, I will do this to the best of my knowledge, uh, including my technical team. We will all give our best. We will do our very, very best. Every day when I walk, I dream about this, this opportunity. I, every time, every moment, I want to achieve this. The only thing that will happen is that maybe I will be the leader. And don't forget, if you check our history, it's, it's only local coaches who have done it. We've done it four times. So the belief must be there. None of our, uh, anybody, it's, it's the local coaches who, who've done it. The likes of uh, uh, CK Jenfi who once coached me. Yeah, uh, Coach Afrani, uh, Sam Dodu and all this, you know. They need to, we need to believe in, in that because we have done it before. And that is why I'm confident. Okay, that's why I'm confident that it, it will happen. And it must, have, must happen with, with a local coach. I am a local coach. Start believing in us. Start believing in us and put that trust in us. We will do it together. Thank you. Um, thank, thank you. Coach, you. My earlier question was on a, what sort of group we found ourselves, Henry. I'd ask an okay. earlier question on what sort of group we found ourselves. It's, it's a, a group that is very, very tough, a group that you need to work very, very extremely hard. I am very, very grateful to the FA for uh, you know, arranging that friendly match against Morocco. At least now, if we want to be realistic, Morocco will look like the, the strongest uh, uh, opponent. Not to say that, uh, uh, or not to disrespect Comoros or Gabon, but clearly, if you check their history, what they've done, they are on top. And that we've had the opportunity to play them. And I think in that sense, we, we did very, very well. I'm very, very confident that if all the players, you know, after the match, he said, we, we had it, we had, we, we, we had it, we needed to, to kill it, but it didn't happen. And so this time around, if, if we have a chance of meeting uh, Morocco again, of course, uh, there will be a way, uh, the, the confidence level will be different. Of course, Comoros and Gabon, we have, like I said, we've started working on them and, and uh, Comoros, Gabon, and of course, Morocco. Um, but again, we need to uh, tackle the first issues, which is uh, the World Cup qualifier that, that is coming on. Okay, um, thank you very much, colleagues. Please, let's be brief with our questions so that we can take as many as possible. Thank you. Um, let me move on to Kingsley Achiampon. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Harry. Uh, my question has to do with the calendar, looking at the European calendar and that of the CAF. Uh, since it has been changed for hours, I'm talking about the CAF, uh, looking at when we are playing uh, the AFCON. And uh, coach, with the lineup or with your players that uh, you named, do you think that you'll be able to get the core team that you call? And if not, what is the next option that you will do? Thank you. Thank you. Does your question goes to, are you talking of the AFCON or, of, or our coming matches? Uh, I'm talking about the AFCON. Of course. Uh, I mean, this is a calendar that uh, CAF connected with FIFA has put in place and, and the, therefore uh, there's uh, restrictions. Players must be released at a certain time. We need to have them two weeks before the tournament and, 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 and uh, the, the instruction stays. I don't think it, it has changed. And once uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be sure we'll get them, we'll start, we'll prepare to our, towards our training and, and method and the way we want to do, and, and that'll be it. Okay, all right. Um, let me move on to Samuel Odro Broby. Samuel Odro Broby, can you hear me? Okay, if he's not ready, then um, Eric Kwafu. Yeah, Siki, thank you for the opportunity for us to interact with our coach. Uh, going to the upcoming tournaments, we expect that 
the coach, the playing body, everybody will be motivated. We recently heard that the coach has been paid all his salary arrears ahead of the afternoon and also ahead of the World Cup qualifiers. If you could comment and confirm for us. Well, I, um, you're talking of my, my salary, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been corrected. Um, I think uh, it, it was, I think yesterday and today uh, it's again in the media that that is not true. And so uh, I'm sure the FA has taken uh, taken it over in, in, this, in, in telling you guys that that is not the case. Uh, that have been, I think, seven months paid. That is not, that's not the case. Um, in terms of bonuses and stuff, uh, the FA is in charge of it. Uh, my focus is more of uh, how we play and, and, and how, but I believe that FA has, you know, spoken already, the plan is already in place together with the ministry, sports minister. And I think uh, there wouldn't be any issues when, when it comes to the time to, to, to the tournament. Okay, um, Osman Seydou. Hello. Osman Seydou. Osman yes, Seydou. I'm here. Okay, yeah, I'm right. here. Good, please, good morning, please coach. proceed. Good morning, Coach CK. This is Coach Osman. Coach Osman, your, your oh, boy. Okay. Now, <laughs> now um, I, I would just want to um, recommend if we can reposition the position of the camera. It's not really showing your face, it's just showing your chest. But beyond that, I, I would just like to add my voice to the fact that local coaches can do it. We had a local coach who took the league and local coaches are doing a wonderful job. Let's give them the opportunity. But coach, um, it has always been a challenge managing players before the tournament, before a major tournament like the Afghan, because, because you don't really have enough time, unlike the club side where you have enough time to prepare. So what are some of the things that you think you would do differently to ensure that you are really, you've prepared adequately for this tournament? Thank you very much. Of course, uh, um, what I do and I continue to do every month, I, I speak to almost all the players through Zoom, via Zoom, uh, because again, the issue is, for instance, when they come now, we we'll have maximum, I think a week to go. We we'll meet on, on uh, Sunday, Monday, by Friday, we are playing our first match, and then the next two, three days, we are playing the second match, and then they're going back. And so one of the things that I do is, is to communicate very well with them in terms of what we want to do and all that. Uh, the captain is in the, in the lead of that, which I always uh, in contact with him, and most of the players, those who are injured, those who are not injured, and all that. And so I am aware of, of, of uh, certain you know, uh, things with them concerning their national team. And so we try as much as we can to, to prepare because, like you said, there's not enough, enough, enough time. Now, when we go, we go into the Afghan, obviously, we'll have like two weeks, to, two to three weeks to prepare. And, and that will be a, a better uh, option for us. But for now, this, these are the things I, I do to be in contact with them and, and also to get to know the preparation for them to know. Let's, let's move on to Eli Kondo, please. Eli. Okay, um, Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> nice one. Um, your recent collapse uh, has involved a mix of um, the young and uh, experienced. But do you have plans of inviting some of the veterans into your squad, like as a margin who says he's not retired from professional football yet? Do you have plans for him anyway? Uh, if not even the qualifiers, but the tournament. What's your plan like about getting veterans in the team? <laughs> Ellie, this is a question there. I mean, uh, as a margin has made it clear that he wants to, and he, I mean, he's an experienced man. He knows what to do for him to get into the team. I'm not in a position to, to once he does, he's a Ghanaian and he's done 
a marvelous job in the past. And so uh, uh, we've had a, a bit of discussion. He knows what to do. I'm, 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 I'm also watching him closely and, and not just him, any other person that, you know, uh, has a chance to come. The other day, I invited a champion who is now in China. He's also one of, of them. He was been out of the team for quite some time, but unfortunately there were issues that didn't permit, permit him to come. And so uh, it is open to uh, everybody. Thank you, Eli Kondo and um, Coach. Um, let me move on to David Afo. David Afo. Yeah, hello. Yes, please proceed. Okay, you can see here. Um, you look at the Black Stars currently, we have a lot of options in the center house position. And unfortunately, we seem to be lacking in the attack. Are you pondering on changing your system to a three or five at the back going into the African Cup of Nations as part of your preparations, looking at the abundant resources we have sent out? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've had a, a lot of discussion on that and, and uh, we'll come out with something, something that will favor us. Uh, honestly, I must be honest, I don't, I don't, I listen to you and pick a lot of stuff, but I make decisions. This isn't that I know we improve the team. And, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, all right. Thank you, Benjamin Ousu. Hello, Benjamin Ousu. Yeah. yeah, hello, Harry. Harry, thank you. Um, I just wanted to find out from the coach um, in regards to preparations um, for the tournament, like we saw in 2010, 20. 14 are we going to bring on extra hands um to help in video analysis to help you know with the prepping of the boys in terms of the boys too are we looking at adding more of these foreign nationals that are looking to convert to play for Ghana ahead of um, the tournament are they targeting anybody in terms of staff personnel and then player personnel for the tourney we, we, we have those things in place already, you know, but if the, the need be, when the time comes, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. And um, Coach, can you mention, like, are there any departments that you need to help you um, in terms of the tournament so that at least um, we, we know what to expect? Now, for now, we are good to go. Uh, but again, like I said, if, if uh, there's a need for us in the tournament, you know, as of now, the focus is more or less, even though we have our eye on the AFCON, but the, <laughs> the World Cup is coming on and, and that is what we're preparing, you know, towards that. When we get closer to the AFCON, any other things that we need, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. But for now, we are good to go. All right. Um... I think I, I can still see about four hands up. Including Muftar or Henry. <laughs> ah, but you have spoken. Okay, um, Adam Seydou, Adam Seydou. Yes, yes, Henry, this is Seydou, yes. Um, okay. I have just uh, two questions for the coach. Uh, my first question is, is he satisfied with the sort of technical team he has? Is he okay with it? Is he a technical team he can... Uh, take to the Afcon and possibly win it. My second question is, who are his scouts going into the Afcon? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for now, like I said, uh, we are good to go. Um, obviously, it will be improper, you know, to make mention of my scout because the names will come out. They travel somewhere. I was once a scout of the of of uh, the team, and I can tell you what I experienced. You know, I, I was somewhere where I was chucked out of the training grounds and stuff. And so it will be improper to make mention of them, but we do have uh, scouts. All right. Um, Kings for Ramon, are you set now? Are you okay now? Sure. Um, thank you, Mr. Harry. Um, my question, uh, please, my has to do with the uh, local base players. Uh, we've seen of late, um, we've, we've seen our local base players in the Blasters corner. But um, lead time it has been an issue. And 
as you uh, earlier said, you said earlier on that history has it that um, the AFCON is being won by local based coaches, so we should trust our local based coaches. And same history also has it that um, our local based players have been helping in helping us in winning the AFCON. Um, so I want to, I want to know if going into the AFCON, we are going to have our local based players, some of them being on the pitch, not to be included. Uh, to the squad to go and sit on the bench, but rather being on the pitch, I want to know if there is that assurance for our local base players. Okay, what it is is that I think if you check the last few matches that we've played, we've had enough local players compared to uh, some time back, and there has been sure uh, there has been improvement and that will continue. Um, again, it's, it's it's also up to them to take the challenge them to do it but yes it's it's going to be a continuation of what we've done and we have believed in them they will also have to come up to to the level that we want and so far they've been fantastic Henry, just a quick suggestion is it possible that when we ask our questions we mute and turn off our video okay um thank you um, I think I can see who else, who else, who else? Henry Odro. Samuel Odro Broby. Odro. Yeah, A1 Radio Bogatanga. Okay, please. Uh, good morning, coach. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I wanted to uh, find out more on uh, Mohamed Salizu. Uh, last time he said, uh, when you had a chat with him, he said he's not ready. I wanted to know whether you have plans of paying him a visit in UK and having a chit chat with him personally and uh, find out what is actually wrong with him. And also about Alfred Duncan, Italy, uh, Caglari. I want to know more about him, why, why he's always been neglected. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um... With Sally Sue, he made that comment. You know, I'm not the one who made. He said, "When he's ready." You know, when a player makes a comment like that, then it, I think there, there should be an issue. Um, having said that, I've had a chance to communicate with one of his his, his people through him, uh, and uh, the lesson is that we will have to wait until he's he's ready, and 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 that's it. Um, what was the other uh, uh, Duncan? Of course, we have Duncan. Yeah, Alfred Duncan. We're watching all the all the guys. They, they're doing well, but the question is: Is he playing in his club? You know, you, you, you yes, to... Is he playing regularly? Um, Harry, as I suggested earlier, when we ask our questions, can we mute for him to answer the inter? When we ask the question, let's have patience and allow the Alfred, 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 Okay, um, City TV. City TV, I can see your hand up. One person is. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me, Harry? Yes, I can hear you. Please proceed. Okay, good, good. Good morning. Uh, good morning, CK. Uh, I have just a quick question. Um, I remember when you took over the job, you promised a certain brand of football, a grow ball, obviously, uh, the exciting brand of football that you've played at club level before. In the national team, however, we haven't necessarily seen that sort of football. Have you come to a realization where you have probably uh, notice that perhaps at the national team level, it's much more difficult to implement a certain brand of football, or you have just prioritized winning over playing any exciting kind of football at all. Because um, 
even the GFA president has said the same thing that the with your coming, the good days of you know exciting agro ball catch kind of football will come back. But um, I'm sure you've you've heard the criticism of the fact that the football that you've played hasn't been exactly exciting, even if you have been winning. Is there any have you have you made a shift in focus from playing exciting football to just winning, or what's the situation now? Well, it's it's both. You know, uh, don't forget uh, we are not in normal times. Again, you plan with players, and all of a sudden you have a plan. Before you know, somebody is injured or um, COVID issues and stuff, and and that has also made a little bit of. of however, uh, we are focused on the things we're doing, and we believe that uh, very soon uh, that aspect of of play uh, will, will, will be seen. Will be seen. Okay, um, next one. I can see Agbo. Agbo. Okay, no. Um, Akuta Maplo. Sassi Radio. Um, good morning, Henry, and good morning, Coach, and to all of my colleagues. I have two questions, if you can hear me. The first one has to be the states and the sports ministry's ambition that they want to win the AFCON, which more or less leaves you with no choice than to also tag along and then win that. I wonder what sort of pressure that brings to you um, going into the AFCON itself, because I'm sure you, in your own mind, you had your, you had made your projections as to which level the team would be at before that tournament. But now they are saying that they want to win the AFCON. What are your thoughts on that? How does that affect your work? Second okay. question has to be, yeah, the second question is about um, Rashid Noti. Um, if I look through your recent collapse, I realize that in terms of profile or skill sets, there's not there's no other central midfielder with that kind of skill set or profile in the team. Yet he does not make the team, and I don't believe there is a question of his productivity or even there are really any questions over his quality. Are you able to offer any explanation as to why he does not make that team? Because in my estimation, it's not a team that is having a lot of talents for someone like Rashid not to be able to make the team. If you could offer any explanation, thank you. Okay, so um, let me make it clear. If there's any other person that wants to win, I'm the first person. I want to win, okay? If, if, I'm, if that pressurizes me, you cannot talk about the national job without any pressure. First of all, as a player, I have played under pressure. Now a coach, I've coached under pressure. I don't let the pressure overwhelm me. I don't, I don't allow that. I'm, it's, it's been part of me. I don't let take control over me. So uh, the other day I, 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 I read, uh, um, are you under pressure to, you know, I don't let it, there's pressure in this job. I mean, all of you, all of us, there's pressure in it, but like I said, I don't let it overwhelm me, and, and so I take in charge, I take control over it, and, and, and I do my job, I do what I have to do, I'm more focused, I want to do this, I want to make sure this happens, because I know when it happens, my name will come up, <laughs> you understand me, with Rashid uh, Norte, yes, he's, he's also part of the team, the father is not here, that's not mean he's not good, but at the moment, the squad that we mentioned of is not bad. That is the squad I want. I want to go with. Uh, don't forget um, the last matches that we've played, even before our last quali qualifier against South Africa. It was bad. Uh, Morocco. He, he was. He came in to play. I've given him an opportunity, but for now, it's, it's not bad. That doesn't mean it's not. It's not good. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Coach Stephen Afo. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Steven. Coach. Uh, Good morning. Yeah, my name is Steven Zandra. Yeah, I work with the Lava for me, Kumasi. Um, Coach, I know that uh, between now and next year, when we go for the tournament, one thing that will take center stage in your activities will be scouting. 
And I also know that there are some statistical firms that provide consistent data on Ghanaian players. African Center for Sports Research even recently profiled as many as 74 players. I don't know if you've cited this and how serious do you pay attention to some of these statistical firms that provide data on Ghanaian players? And um, my boss, I have it. You know, I have it if you want, I can, I can I have it, I have it, I mean, I'm, I'm on top of that. So. The, the shortest, the shortest um, answer so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fifi, uh, Fifi Abdul Malik Tanko. Uh, good morning, coach, please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, coach, um, concerning the, those playing in the domestic league, I want to get your criteria for selecting players from our league. Because I remember earlier when in your first call up, you told us that you would want the, those players in the GPL to come and compete and not to come and make up the numbers. In your last call up, we saw Glasnawaku in. Today, he's not in. And if I should link it to your answer to Alfred Duncan's case, you are looking at those who play regularly. Here is our who played regularly. You called him the last time, and today he's not in. So I would want to get your clear understanding of the criteria you use to select players to the national team. Is it something different for those playing in the foreign league and something different for those in the local league? Or is the same criteria you use to call up players? That's what I want to know. Thank you very much. Uh, it's true, but I use uh, regular who are regular in their teams and performing very well. Okay, you forgot that uh, the last collapse that we made, uh, Afri Banya was not part of it. The question is, if you look at Afri Afri Banya now, it will be improper because of his performance, the way he's based, regular in his team, but he's performing effectively, and so he's in. You know, and that is what we, we're looking at. Uh, this is not to say somebody is bad or somebody is not good, or somebody is, is good or whatever. It is what we want at the moment of time and who we believe can help, who has a better uh, way of helping us in, in that sense. And so um, the fact that Awaku was in and now he's not in has got nothing to do with uh, the person. It's, it's what we want to do and who is performing uh, in a very, very uh, good way. So, um, colleagues, we'll be wrapping up in the next five minutes. So um, let's make our questions as brief as possible to be able to get all the answers we uh, okay. made from the coach. Um, I, is that Franz, Francis Atakranchi? Yes. Um, my name is Francis. Henry, thank you for giving me the opportunity to ask. Um, mine is actually not a question. Um, I'm not a journalist. I'm just a football loving fan. And um, I just want to give just a short advice to Coach C.K. Akono. Um, it's not a matter of your color. That will determine whether you're going to do well or whether you're a black coach or white coach or that is not the issue here. I just I want to encourage you to still do what you know best and forget about that kind of pressure. That's what the pressure, no matter what, it will keep coming, but you have to absorb it and do what you know best. But one thing I've observed in the years is that um, normally I don't see the determination in the players. It's like they are playing normal game. And if you want to win the AFCON and you want to play a normal game, forget it. You have to be an extraordinary, or you, your, your style of play should be different. You cannot just relax and play as if there's nothing at stake and expect to go to finals or something like that. We don't have a very sharp striker. They are just all playing normal game. The, the, the kind of determination is not there. So for me, I've that's seen that the players are the problem. The players are the problem. So I want to urge you to actually handle Hello, Francis. Oh, okay. Um, um, thank you. Thank you for your intervention, Francis. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, if, I think if, it's it's good. Uh, well, CK, um, he he didn't ask a question, so I think yeah, I think we have to move on. 
Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can also comment on a question, no problem. <laughs> Your 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 intervention wasn't a question, so let's let's move on. Um, we don't we don't have much time. I uh, Benjamin, okay, Benjamin Ousu, you've had your turn. Philip Omoregi. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Can you hear me? Perfectly well. I can yeah, hear you thank well. you very much. Uh, I'm a sports scientist and uh, also a coach. Yeah, my question is, um, how Hello. well do you... Hello, Philip. Philip, um, um, I, I am sorry, we have to move on. It's, it's, it's um, a, a session that is purely for the media. So I'm sorry, we have to uh, move on to the next person. Um, who else is there? Let me check. Perry, Perry Paisley. Perry Paisley, can you, can you hear me? Perry, I can see I can see your face. Can you hear me? Perry, please unmute. Please unmute. Hello, Perry. Please unmute, Perry. I'll Unfortunately, Perry. Um, okay, yes, Perry, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, good Can morning, CK. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, I'm Perry. Good to meet sports. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to know one. There's one player that is performing very well um, in Bulgaria. That is um, Bernard Tegrete. It seems like he, it's, it's been an oversight for you uh, in terms of your calling. See, it hasn't been in in your callings, and I don't know why. He has been um, cut off. And of course, I want to know the situation about Thomas Pate, whether he will be ready for the call up because we know that he is injured, but he's, he's called. Thank you very much. I know Pepe very well. I know what he's doing. I've, I've had discussions with his people, but uh, for now, um, this, this is the way we're going. With Pate, yes, we've, we've been talking. Uh, it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too good. So um, still, there's always plan B. Um, we have people who will, will take that position and, and do well. And so um, we will wish him speedy recovery. I guess well soon. But uh, it doesn't look too good. Okay. I, I think you've all had your turn, unless um, I left out someone. Did I did I leave out anyone here? Yeah, we have one, one more. Who uh, is that? Samuel Odro Brobe, you had your turn, yeah. please. Please, please. Let's let's move on, please. We we do not have much time. I think we have to wrap up. Okay. All right. So um, coach, coach, I would like you to give us your your departing message, and then we will okay. thank the the journalist for making time with us. Please and try we'll, again. We'll end it. So, Coach, your departing message. Okay. Um, listen, I I know what you all want. If you are criticizing us because you want us to do well, but I want you to understand that I do talk to these boys, yeah, each and every time. They want it more than you. Some of them know this is their last uh, chance. This is their last moment. They want to do all they can, all they can to win the AFCON. It's not going to be easy. And that is why we need you. That is why it is important for us to come together as a nation. I mean, we've won four times. And it's, it's, it's in the name of Ghana, not in the name of an individual. Okay? okay? So all that I'm asking you to do, let's be positive. Let's try to be positive because we all have our interests, you know? Why this player is not in, why this player is not in. That time is over. Let us be positive so that if anything that comes out, be negative or positive, negative is not gonna be good because they read it. Like I said, I talked to them. Let us be positive, let's believe in them. Let's believe in these guys that we have. Let's, let's do it because We've done it before. 
how did they do it that, that those days? Okay. The other thing that I, would, I want to say is for my senior colleagues who were once actively playing, they won the nation, uh, uh, they won the AFCON for a couple of times, and some of them are bitter. And I plead with them, let bygones be bygones. Let's forget it. Let's be positive. Yes, I've also experienced it as, as a player and then a captain. There were things that weren't done right. I have the right to be angry and say all the kind of things. People are bitter. This, in a certain way, is not, it's not positive. Let's leave it. Let's be positive. Let's think positive. Let's have an idea of us already winning the cup and then putting it in place the kind of things that will, that will back us up. We need you more than you, you might think. And I thank you so much. I thank you so much for coming. Coming now, I thank, I thank each and everyone, those who were here, those who were in here. Please, you are media guys, give the message up. Tell them, let them know. We need to come together as a nation and work this out. It is possible. We can do it. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, thank you very much, um, colleagues. It's been wonderful um, being with you this morning. Thanks for your company. Um, Coach C.K. Akono, um, we are also grateful for your time. But let me quickly announce that um, early next month, you know, we have two very important games. Against Ethiopia is on 3rd September and 6th. Please, that we all start preparing towards that game for now. And then the next game against South Africa is on September 6th. So um, the game in Cape Coast is on Friday, and then on Monday we'll play South Africa in Johannesburg. Um, we will hold another press conference. That will be pretty much press conference in Cape Coast, 24 hours before the game against Ethiopia. I mean, the coming days will also come out with um, a detailed program um, for the team in terms of arrival of players, training sessions, and then other details on the match itself.